Warm greetings, dear friend, and welcome to my monthly newsletter for September. Well, what's been going on with me since last I saw you? Uh, let's see. I performed an online concert with Heather O'Day, the musical director at CSL Sonoran Desert in Arizona, September 2nd. Um, uh, September 21st to the 24th, I was part of the Virtual Unity Northwest Regional Conference, thanks to Becca Palm, my dear friend. And on September 26th, this last Saturday, I was part of a virtual concert with my friends Laura Topper and Jason Salmon in the UK. That was fun. And uh, besides those things and my uh, my virtual church uh, performances that I've been doing pretty much every month, at vari- uh, every week at various places, I've also been doing my morning musings. Um, I've been doing them for seven weeks now and just feeling really excited about that. Every week I have a, a new thought and a new chant to share, so I hope you can join me Wednesday mornings from 9 to 9.15 a.m. Pacific. And what's coming up? Many more Sundays, many more virtual performances on Sundays, and uh, many more morning musings. And who knows what else. Uh, for up-to-date information, just you can always check the events page on my website. So what's been going on with me? Well, to be honest with you, I've still been uh, dealing with the blues. This is a really tough time we're all going through, isn't it? You know, we're we're all pretty sick and tired of COVID. We've been dealing with it now for over six months. And um, as much as I try to stay in a positive frame of mind, I've definitely had some days where I feel pretty lethargic and what's the point of it all and impatient and frustrated and all the rest. And thanks to my loving partner, Kim uh, who, who sent me a message back to me today that I sent her about a month ago. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better. Let me share that message with you. It's a message from Abraham Hicks. And it says, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to skip. I'm going to be glad. I'm going to smile a lot. I'm going to be easy. I'm going to count my blessings. I'm going to look for reasons to feel good. I'm going to dig up positive things from the past. I'm going to look for positive things where I stand. I'm going to look for positive things in the future. It is my natural state to be a happy person. It's natural for me to love and laugh. That is what is most natural for me. I am a happy person. Amen. So Abraham Hicks, is. Uh, she calls this a rampage of appreciation, and there are many examples of this on YouTube. I will, uh, I will post this underneath this video so that you can uh, use it to inspire yourself. And um, I'm wanting to combine two ideas this month. One is um, Abraham Hicks, who reminds us that we usually have the formula backwards. We put the cart before the horse. We think when we get the house, when we get the relationship, when we get the car, when we get the job, we will be happy. When in actuality, it's being happy first that creates the energy that brings all those things into our experience. So that's thought number one. Second is Denzel Washington, and I know I shared this with you months ago, Denzel Washington has a great video on YouTube called Say Thank You. Say thank you in advance for what is already yours. So again, we feel it first. We experience the appreciation, the gratitude first, and the good flows into our lives. So I'm very grateful to my dear Kim for reminding me of these things. And on that note, I just want to um, say this for your benefit and for my own. Let's remember the tools we have in our toolbox physically. Do we get outside and exercise? Do we go for a walk? You know, many of us can't go to gyms these days, but we can still cycle, we can still go for walks, we can still, you know, do any one of a number of things outside. Um, What about uh, uh, on on the mental level? Are you finding inspiring words and videos to watch, like the the ones that I've mentioned uh, so far in this video? Uh, On an emotional level, are you making time to share your feelings, uh, to laugh, to cry, to journal? Are you getting enough hugs? Virginia Satir uh, is um, someone who um, shared the fact that we need hugs. We need four hugs a day to survive, eight to maintain our emotional well-being, and 12 to thrive. I don't know about you, but I'm, I've been a lot under my 12 quotient. 
quota for the day for many days. So I encourage you to to up your hug quotient. And yes, getting more than uh, getting hugs from more than one hug from the same person every day does count. And lastly, what are you doing to feed yourself spiritually? Are you meditating? Are you chanting? Are you just making time to be still? So let's remember all these tools we have in our toolbox. And we can beat these blues. COVID will not go on forever. This too shall pass. And in the meantime, let's remember the tools we have at our disposal. Be happy first so that we can bring the good into our experience. Of course, one of the ways that I like to feel good and um, one of the ways that I do feel good most regularly and most easily is through music. And I have a chant for you. Uh, the chant that I want to share with you is one of the chants that I've come up with for my morning musings. This is called I'm Free. And the words are, I'm free, free of the doubt, free of the fear, free, because all of my good is already here, free, I can feel it, free, so I can be it. This is law, and so it is. It is law, and so it is. I rejoice in my choice. So, sing with me, once you get the hang of it. It's pretty simple. Here we go. I'm free Free of the doubt Free of the fear Free Cause all of my good is already here Free I can feel it Free so I can be it. It is law, and so it is, and so it is. It is law, and so it is. I rejoice in my choice. In my choice, I rejoice in my choice. I rejoice in my choice. I'm free from the top, free of the doubt, free of the fear, free. Cause all of my good is already here, free. I can feel it. So I can be it It is law And so it is And so it is Woo! Yeah It is law And so it is I rejoice I rejoice In my choice Rejoice in my choice. I rejoice in my choice. I rejoice in my choice. I'm free. We are free. We can choose to be free. Let's choose to be free right now. Let's feel that freedom. Reclaim our right to be who and what we truly are. Happy beings. Love and blessings to you, dear one. Thanks for watching. Please share this with other people in your life. Be happy. Be free now. And all of your good will be yours. I guarantee it. I'm feeling it. See you next month. If I don't see you online at one of my morning musings or on one of my uh, church offerings before that. Okay. <laughs>